Alright guys, welcome back to Minecraft, episode 21 of this fantastic Let's Play. Oh man, I've made a video in a couple of days, so to anyone who's wondering where I, if I was dead or anything, no. Still breathing. Um, it's 2 in the morning right now, so I'm going to keep it a bit quiet. I've actually got a pretty epic sound cancellation contraption right now. I pretty much look like something out of Assassin's Creed. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail of that, because, yeah, this is Minecraft. I don't want to talk about crap that I've got over my head. And, um, yeah, I'm going to drop that subject entirely. We've got level 50. <laughs> Once again, really thirsting for those splash damage potions. But, uh, when we go over to the nether this episode, I'll share what I've done in the nether ward farm, slash nether. And, yeah, that'll be the highlight of the episode, no doubt. And I think we should... Stop talking crap and click this level 50. Oh man. I've gotten so many of those pickaxes, it's ridiculous. Oh, can't complain. Um, there was one thing I wanted to do this episode actually. That was just out of the blue. Uh, as you know, I've been needing a pet for a while. Might keep that actually. And. I actually have so many bones, I don't know what to do with, so... I think we're going to induct... Is that a word, induct? Let me think about that. Fuck it, it's too late for this shit. We're going to recruit Bridge Dog as our little companion. Land Dog can eat a dick. This guy's where it's at. So here we go. No. No. Holy. A... Sup, bridge dog. So yeah, he'll be our faithful companion for the world tour. World tour. Let's play. God. My apologies. <laughs> and someone said he wouldn't be able to get loose from there. So, bridge dog. Already outdoing any expectations. And, uh, yeah, as I said, I haven't made a video since episode 20. Well, a video, a let's play rather. I mean, uplifting that subscribe special went down well. Uh, the comments I did re receive were positive, so that was good. I'm glad to see you guys like that kind of video. Uh, those kind of videos I can't do too often because they just take a shit ton of time to make. I mean, I'm happy to do them. I just, that's why I just keep them as subscriber specials. And um, I'll probably do the next one at maybe 500 subscribers or something like that. So, look out for that in the future. And yes, I think without further hesitation, we shall go to thy nether. I think I was a bit of a poop face when I crafted this. I actually crafted it from here, and uh, when I hopped through it this way, this is like the front of the portal, so it places me where I want to face out. Um, had I gone in through the other direction, I would have like came through through here. So I'm thinking of somehow twisting that, I don't know, rebuilding it, hopefully it works. But yeah, I've been busy in the nether, I've made a massive ghast firewall proof thing of epicness, and yeah, ghast still spawn inside it for some reason, but yeah, I have been putting a lot of work into this wheat, this wheat farm, nether wheat farm. My bad on Peaceful, I was doing a custom map before. Um, actually, that's probably a question I need to ask this episode. Uh, the custom map, I forget the name, it's some sort of parkour map, but it's got about seven difficulties. And I was thinking I could do a let's play of the map. If you guys wanted to see that on top of this, I mean, if I was to do a let's play of that, well, I don't really call it a let's play, but... I don't know, a playthrough of that map. It would be, on top of these Let's Plays, I wouldn't be taking away from these. Uh, I'm getting less and less time to record these, so... That's why it has been a few days, but... Hopefully things will change. Um, and basically, I shall activate the... One, either <laughs> Any of these buttons will activate the farm. And... Basically... Pistons come around like that, activate, 
and then get me all this another ward. I mean, it's not the most efficient farm in the world, but uh, I personally think it looks quite awesome. I mean, I had I haven't searched for any tutorials or anything. I just kind of built this on instinct. Not instinct, just my own brain waves and shit. But uh, yeah, just a circuit it goes around and clockwise. Uh, the ones in the middle take repeaters. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial on how to build this, I, I don't think you will, but it's pretty basic. And if, if you do need one, let me know. I might make a unlisted tutorial or something that I can chuck as an adaptation to this video. Uh, possibly if I get many requests, I might just post it public, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, if I do end up making this unlisted tutorial, I will put an annotation in the video here. If not, forget what I'm saying right now. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, what else was there? Shall replant this. Oh, I totally forgot there was something I needed to say, but I didn't even say it. So yeah, leave me a comment if you would like to see that parkour playthrough map thing. Uh, I played it through in multiplayer creative mode, so I could just kind of cheat whenever I fell into the lava or anything. But yeah, it's a pretty hard map, so... I won't be able to speedrun it uh, like I was intending to, because... it was extremely frustrating, to say the least. Uh, what else is new in the world of mine? And or craft. Happy face. Uh, this is currently all the nether wart I've received. I seriously tried to click nether wart just then and failed miserably. But yeah. Working our way up, should be able to make a ton of awkward potions with that, and soon enough I should be able to get the brewing whole thingamajig. What the fuck? How are you seeing me? Oh my god, this isn't good. I know a golden sword really is the worst possible weapon of choice, but whatever. Now, the only problem with this casing is that nether brick is extremely weak. So anytime a ghast chucks a hissy fit and fucking shoots a dick ball at me, they end up blowing holes in it, so it's not the most fantastic situation to be in, but yeah. Ah, oh, such is life, I guess. To quote Ned Kelly, unintentionally and unnecessary. But anyway. Um I thought I'd better go grab some glowstone. I haven't actually picked any up yet. I mean I need some from the for the mega build, so I thought I might grab it while I'm here. Oh, what the fuck? Did I just drop. Oh, okay, that, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I'm still pretty freaked out on how fast these pickaxes work. To be honest, like you just spent like as long as you've got a new block to click on, you can like pretty much go infinitely with these picks. It's, it's crazy. But yes, Silk Touch should be able to net me. Yes. I'll uh, we'll get the original ore as opposed to glowstone dust. Uh, a lot of people were a bit confused in the Silk Touch episode when I had a bunch of unrefined diamond and stuff. Calling me illegit and stuff. No, it's just Silk Touch. I can understand some people might know what Silk Touch is. I mean, I didn't really know what it was until I did a bit of research on it. I mean, Minecraft's got so in depth now, it's got to the point where I do need to research stuff before I can tell you about it because, I mean, I can tell you to craft a wooden pickaxe, but when it comes to, like, potions and enchantments and stuff, you gotta kind of hit the book, so to speak, just to learn about it, but yeah. Poop and such. Um, as for that uplifting subscriber special, uh, if that's the first video you've ever seen of mine, um, the bread and butter of this channel is this Let's Play, so I will be releasing more parkour, speedrun, drum and bass videos at any given milestone for subscribers. I won't set it at 500, just because I really don't, I'm, like, the channel growth is so inconsistent at the moment, that may be months away, maybe weeks away, I don't know, but... 
in good time, I will release another episode of a subscriber special. And yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy those subscriber specials. In my eyes, they're just a way to kind of give you guys something a bit more higher production value, maybe. I don't know. Just to kind of say thanks for your support. And yes, support is always welcome. And I think it's that it's time for that part of the day. And I'm pretty sure a few of you already know what I'm about to do right now. You're eagerly awaiting to post this word, aren't you? Ah. Oh, I'm so happy I've made my own sign. Uh, episode. Okay, word of the daytime, biatches. Not really. Unless you are, in fact, a biatch. I don't know what a biatch is, too. Per se, BS. I'm going to stop, stop talking about biatches. Uh, episode 21, word of the day. What's something completely random? Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to do this. Okay, coffee. Because I need one. The word of the day is coffee. I know it took way too long just to think of a word, but... Yeah. You know me. Uh... Yeah. Not sure how long I've got this episode going yet. We shall take Bridge Dog over. We shall build him a kennel, I think. I mean... Nothing too fancy. I might chuck him up at the enchanting room, actually. I don't want him dying. On the first date, you know. Take the dog out. Take the bitch out. We'll assume it's a girl. So... Bridge dog is my bitch. Um, it's not a bad word if you use it in context. Is it now, you stupid bitch? Uh, yeah. Doesn't seem to be a fan of the enchanting room, but... Oh, wow. Okay. You're just going to do that? Alright. <laughs> uh, what I want to do, guys, is check how long this video is. Uh, I want to make it at least 15 minutes... As per usual, I don't want to really have any Let's Plays that are under 15 minutes, because I feel like I rip you guys off if that's the case, you know what I mean? I mean... Fuck. Teleporting, bitch. Um, but yeah, I'll check how long the video is going for, guys. And we might build this bitch a kennel. I'm going to stop calling it that. Uh, if we have some time, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alright. Whilst... Searching through the video files, trying to calculate how long this was. Uh, fan fantastic idea overcame me and my brain. And I thought, since I'm moving out into this big house here, I think a more than adequate place for Bridge Dog to stay will be right here. So yes, this will be Bridge Dog's kennel. I mean, nothing fancy, but... I mean, there's a crafting bench. We just tore the... Uh, tore... What am I saying? Ruptured the anus of a skeleton before, didn't we, Bridge Dog? That went off. Broken the gold sword. There's magic. And yeah. Did not mean to do that. Move. Uh, yeah. For some reason, these pumpkins keep growing on each other. I mean, they're just like self-cannibalizing or something. Which I don't understand, like. But whatever. But, uh, in the next episode, or very soon, I'll be building a massive melon farm of all awesomeness and automation and other words that symbolize good things. You know what I mean? And, yeah. I kind of can't talk, no. I always find that I'm struggling to get food, I mean, unless I'm just camping the melons all the time, I'm pretty much always, like, grabbing bread and random steaks from random cows all over the place, so yeah, I need something a bit more substantial than this little melon farm, as I place netherrack down for no particular reason, but yeah, so that's what I'll be doing next episode, it, I'm not sure how big to build it, to be honest, but... It's going to be fully automatic with redstone, so if you're into that redstone, it's good stuff. 
uh, that episode will be for you. Uh, I don't want to set it in stone because um, something might come up. I might think of something else to do for the episode, but for the time being, episode 22 should be a melon farm and or pumpkin farm. And I'll just demonstrate why this is annoying. Because I crafted it the wrong way. I wonder if dogs follow you into the nether. I don't think they do. Yeah, so you pop out on the arse end of it and it's kind of annoying, so. Kind of need to fix that. And uh, what I might do, actually, is just quickly show you guys the basic concept of this redstone. Uh, for the people who actually want to see it, I mean, I, if a couple of people ask for the tutorial, I'll just do a quick little tutorial. Just, It's really basic, to be honest, guys. It's just, just a basic power source over here. Sends a signal behind these blocks here. Goes right around, comes around the corner and pushes all the pistons up. I mean, I don't know if that cleared anything up for you just now, but yeah. It's just a basic design. I mean, if you're going to build this in your world, and this goes for anything that I build, like, whether it be like mob machines or anything, I mean, you don't have to credit me or anything. I, I think it's stupid, the fact that you can kind of claim creations as your own kind of thing. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I always find it silly when you... When I watch someone build something, they always spend five minutes crediting the person who made it first, which... For some things, maybe, I can guess, like, I can understand. But, for the most part, it's just a combination of blocks, and I mean... I don't own the number 6,765,000,000, you know the drill. You know what I mean? I can't just claim that. But, yeah. I guess just out of respect, you, you do it, but... Yes, if you b want to build anything in my world that you see in your own let's play or whatever don't feel obliged to credit me I, it really doesn't worry me I'd be a bit of a hypocrite if it did to be honest but yes I don't know it's just small things like that it just pee me off not not really but yeah I don't know <laughs> not making sense but yeah I hopefully you get the gist of that uh, what else could we do we've got a couple minutes I can chat to you guys for. I'm trying to think what I can get in before I have to go. Huh. I still haven't connected up the nether fortress to my base yet. It's kind of a suicide run to go over there, but I don't really need to go there often. I mean, I just power mine a crap ton of brick and then come back. And probably should have brought a bow, actually. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I don't actually think this is worth it at all. Fuck off! Alright, don't shoot. Alright, I'm sick of the nether. <laughs> I don't know, something about the nether is just depressing. And just annoying. But yeah. Maybe next episode we'll get a cat as well. And... I wonder how long it'll be until I kill this dog accidentally. I mean, it's just a matter of time, really. the fuck? Okay. That was interesting, not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I've done anything new around the Mega Build, to be honest, guys. Uh, I'm still really not happy of the design. For some reason. When I built it, I thought I liked it, but for now, I don't know. It's kind of ungrowing on me to use improper language, but yeah. Not satisfied. But at least I've got a bitch by my side. And yeah, I think we might have to end it on that note, guys. Uh, I really haven't got much else to show you, but uh, I will get working on this melon farm off camera. The next episode, episode, I'll be able to talk properly, hopefully, and I'll be able to show it off. So yes, and maybe get a cat. But yeah, I think that's it for episode 21, guys. If you've made it this far in the video, thanks a ton. I appreciate it. And yeah, me and my bitch are signing out, and I'll catch you next time. Look at the fucking camera, dog. So I can do an outro, fade out to black. Fuck this. <sighs> I'll see you in episode 22.